This phone is a bit new. It's not anything like Apple and it's just simply a competitor to the Android phablets because Apple have never released a phone of 4.7 inches let alone 5.5 inches before the iPhone 6. Hey guys it's Mel here with Technical Perspective and today I'm going to be reviewing the iPhone 6 Plus. I will have an iPhone 6 review to come in due course but I do not know when however for now this is the iPhone 6 Plus review. I would like to thank Vodafone UK for sending this out to me for review, it wouldn't be possible without them. Check out their red 4G plans uh, in the link below. If you sign up to them you can get 6 months to 24 months of Spotify Premium, Now TV or Sky Sports Mobile for free. Here you can see I have uh, Spotify Premium as I had a Vodafone SIM and it's really just as simple as that, there's no other catches, you just get free outright Spotify. And it's quite amazing because I have been able to just use the Spotify to my leisure and it's just great. So here you can see this is the iPhone 6 Plus on the side and it's quite nice. You have your SIM card tray slot and the uh, power button and it's totally totally not anything like the samsung galaxy s6 that samsung released lately <coughs> anyways apple were first to it anyways so i'm not an apple fanboy either but you know samsung up to old antiques here you can see this is the um volume up and down buttons and this is the actual uh notification button so you can turn it on and off simple as that i'm surprised samsung didn't copy that uh, there you have your Touch ID which is quite improved since the iPhone 5S where it debuted. At the bottom you have your new type, uh, newly designed speakers which um, are also louder and better. Your lightning cable and your audio jack has been moved to the bottom. Here is the back of the iPhone and you can see it looks quite big and quite nice. This is a problem on the iPhone 6 Plus. It's the first iPhone to have a protruding camera. The iPhone 6 also does it. And here you can see if you place it on a desk, then it will wobble as it's not straight surfaced. Here is iOS 7, I mean 8 running on the iPhone 6 Plus. You can see it's quite nice. And we're going to run a Geekbench right here. So we run it and I've sped this up to four times four speed, but you can see it does it in around 21 seconds, which is quite fast. And single score, core score of 1627, and that is quite fast. It's running an A8 processor clocked at 1.4 gigahertz, it's dual core, and it's 64 bit. Here is a 3D mark test to show the gaming performance, and you can see this is really smooth. Apple have no problems when it comes to performance on their latest devices so you can throw any app on it and it will run it of course providing that it's in the Apple store rather than some third party jailbroken game that's been made and you can see that although there is quite a lot of detail in this app there it is running perfectly this is the camera as you can see and it's quite nice the camera app iOS 8 itself is quite nice and this is a front camera you can see that it's quite nice in quality I believe it's a 2 megapixel camera Apple improved their front camera on the iPhone 6 and 6 plus as they added burst shots and they also just improved the um, camera itself and you can see that the uh, quality is quite nice and you will see a sample shot later on and we're going to turn to the back camera right now and or not here we have the video on the front camera and this is 720p and it's all right but not the greatest i'd still buy dsl if you want to put vlog here's the back camera and this is video then you have slow-mo which can now go up to 240 fps in uh, either 720 or 1080p can't remember but you can see that because they, um, you change the FPS there is also um, brightness involved uh, with it so if you go into 240 FPS then it will become darker you have your panorama mode where you can take a panorama shot and here you have a um, image stabilization video of the iPhone 6 plus you can see it handles it quite nicely if I try this on my iPhone 6 then it'd be quite rocky as the iPhone 6 actually doesn't have image stabilization for some reason I don't know why Apple only decided to include it on their iPhone 6 plus I guess it's to compete with the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 which has image stabilization 
here you will see a photo taken with the back camera and you can see it looks quite nice 8 megapixel camera with a new uh, aperture I believe it's f2.2 and you can see if you zoom in then you can see a lot of things there's quite a lot of detail in that 8 megapixel although I say it's quite all right but you can get better overall i'd like to say that iphone 6 plus is quite good here you can see that it actually rotates like a knife pad and i think that apple are going in the right direction however bend gate it just don't bend your iphone 6 plus otherwise it seriously will bend so yeah guys if you did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like comment below and subscribe i would like to thank vodafone once again and this is Mihail here with Techno Perspective reviewing the um, iPhone 6 Plus and I will see you in the next video. Peace.